Hello everyone, today I'm bringing you my third design team project for Trezor's Deluxe for the month of August and this time I have a little, um, it's like a little gift book for somebody. I actually was inspired to make this by Marianne who is a pocket full of vintage on YouTube. About a year ago, well probably before Christmas last year, she made, uh, she made a book and I think it was the gift pack book. I have it in my favourites and I revisited it the other day and I thought, yes, it's such a lovely idea. Although this is not um, the same as what she's done, I was inspired by her video. So I'll put a link to that in the description box below because it is a lovely idea. Everything in the book that she made can be used. It can come off and be used. Um, that is not the case with mine, but um, anyway, here we go. I've used... Uh, all the beautiful laces and trims from Trezor's Deluxe. There are a few things on here that were gifted to me by other ladies and um, I've also have a, a time-lapse video and I will mention those ladies in that video there. Um, yeah, most of these laces I've just dipped in coffee just to give it a more vintage feel. Um, I took apart the little roses from Trezor's Deluxe and made little flowers out of them and entered some bling and these little um, white flowers in the middle they're from the uh, the flower sprays of Trezor's Deluxe I've added bits of chill and um, the actual lace covering the book itself is a top that I found at a thrift store and this is just a little bit of elastic um, acting as a side belly band so I will insert a couple of close-up photos because it's easier to see it in detail. That way on the inside we just move our belly band around like that and open it up. The base of course is made out of a cardboard box and it is covered in book paper. And there's the inside of the little gift pack. It's um, got a little pin cushion here. It's got a a box of goodies, some wedding applique and some lovely acrylic plate pieces in there. A beautiful organza bow that helps keep that little pocket in place. So yeah, that's basically it. The only thing I would do different if I do it again would be I would, um, I would give it more depth because I love the size of it. I love the width of it, but the depth could have been more generous, you know, up to here, because that way you can fit a bit more in it. Um, and if you're going to go to the time to make something like this, it's nice to be able to fill it a little bit more. But um, I will just show you. In here I have, this is just a mint tin. In here I just have lots of different kinds of, goodies for making stick pins and um, you know dangles and charms and bits to use on projects and things like that so there's quite a lot in there I won't take it all out because it takes some um, you know it takes a while to get back in I'll just stretch that out and put it back in there this little part here is done with a beautiful little pearl drop trim from Trezor's Deluxe that I've just hung in there. In the video itself you'll notice that I used a sparkle in the middle here but I just found it had too much dimension when I closed it and that little bit extra made all the difference so I just um, what's that? so I just changed it for a little bead in the center there and there we go that's the inside once again, oh, and after I did the video, I just added a little flower down the bottom here. I just felt it added an extra little bit of um, embellishment to the front there and um, gave it a really nice look. So that is the project, my third project for the month of August, and I hope you like it. And just before I go, I also made a little pin cushion, and I made this for my Helma. Helma glue design team a couple of weeks ago and just thought I'd share it with you because I think it's adorable. Um, it's just that little goblet that my daughter found for me at the thrift store. Uh, one of the Trezor's laces cut up underneath there with the flower in the center and this is the same lace 
as this one here um, and I love I love this sort of thing it looks like little tendrils hanging down and I think that's really sweet and very easy to make and I'll also put a link to that in the description box below okay so thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you enjoy the time lapse of course if you're not interested I'm just dex out now because um, it is quite long Okay, take care everybody and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.